good, 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 good Friday afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you like this video, come back tomorrow. Look at these Nancy lentil tacos. Oh, look what you made me do. Delicious. The new Shane Dawson released? No, it releases today. Oh, okay. So tomorrow is the Track Shack Halloween 5K, and today is bib pickup, and super important, I'm gonna get some new shoes, I think, or get fitted for new shoes, which reminds me, I almost forgot, I need to bring my Keanu 25s with. Sarah's giving me, like, <laughs> right now. So, and Eve is just laying cutely next like, to her. Show us, do me and Eve look like Lady Tremaine and Lucifer? Oh, she's, she's evil. She jump, but you bite you. Oh, here we are back at Track Shack for the next Track Shack race that I'm going to be in. It's a 5k tomorrow Halloween, but I'm also going to try if I have enough time to get fit. I didn't realize the store closed at 7, but it does. So we'll see. They have 400. It's so crazy. I got just an exact amount. And then the cool Track Shack Halloween 5K. And that's actually what the metal looks like, is this pumpkin. Can't wait. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. All right, so I signed in. And we got our, our shoe wall right here. Got my bib, so I got plenty of time. I was looking at the Brooks Ghost 12, but it's a little bit of a higher heel drop for me. But here is some of the, the Asics. I know they have the new version of my current Keanu. Is it the Keanu 26? These are going to be my new big trainers I'm going to use every day, maybe even run the Dopey or the 50k in this December. Alright, they just, uh, the woman helping me out just watched me walk to get my, my stride and everything and she just measured me up. I am an 11, we're going to start there and see where it goes. She agrees I should retire these Keanos with uh, 25s with 490 miles. So she's going to bring out the new Keanos and then a comparable different ones just to see. All right, we're doing the Keanu 26s. They are amazing, way better color than these ones I got. Um, Sarah's gonna laugh at the color because I always get blue stuff. But I'm gonna check out and then I'll show you the shoes. I'm so excited. They're lighter, I think, by like six grams than last year's model. But I'm so excited to get it. I might wear them tonight on my run just to see. Ooh, wait for it, 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 wait for it. They look so good! Oh ho ho, at the magical farmer's market again. Haven't caught on yet. I'm running a few errands right now while Sarah's at home. I'm gonna pick up a few little groceries that we're missing. And I'm gonna go home, we're gonna hang out, I'm gonna go on a run later. But look at all these... What are they called? There's a fancy word for pumpkins. It's not gourds. Gourds are separate. But like, there's a fancy word, but look at all this smorgasbord of a lovely fall life here. That's a massive pumpkin. That's a massive pumpkin. 40 bucks, worth it. Beautiful, beautiful. Here's the most crucial, important part about a pumpkin. And I will fight anybody who says otherwise. The stem. It's all about the stem. Basically, no stem means you're going in a pie. Got a stem, you go on display. All right, here's the cool thing about Sprouts, is it is aisles and aisles and aisles. And we can eat and consume like 80% of what they have here. Like all this right here, plant-based. We got plant-based chicken. It's not real chicken, for sure. We got glazed chocolate donut holes, plant-based. All this ice cream, plant-based. All these snacks over here, plant-based. You wanna know it's not plant-based, but it's so delicious? Beef jerky, grass-fed, plant-fed but not plant-based. Well, I mean like, you could argue that it's plant-based because it's based out of eating plants, but that's not how that works. Holiday kettle corn, all these delicious ice cream things, or Christmas things, candy cane herbal tea, mauling spice, Christmas, Christmas. Oh, look at that history of sprouts. I never knew that before. I established 2002. This so reminds me of Treasure Island in uh, Chicago, but those are now all closed. So I'm switching up my prenatal vitamin at the suggestion of my acupuncturist for this Garden of Life raw prenatal. There's just like, 
a ton of fillers and stuff and other prenatals and so she said this is one of the only ones she trusts um and then also right now is really important for the brain development so we got separate dha because this does not have dha here's the two ice creams i picked up for us to indulge on looking delicious tonight this weekend this whole weekend's kind of got like a running theme to it a restful and a running theme Today I got the shoes, tomorrow there's a 5K. In between, there's a man by the name of Elliot, and he's attempting to break the two hour marathon record. It's never been done before by human, and he believes that he can do it. I think he did two hours and 25 seconds two years ago for the Nike special, so they finally announced the time early today. It's 2.30 in the morning, our time is when he's gonna run it. He's in Vienna, Austria, and they're live streaming it, and I'm gonna be awake, so I don't know if I'm gonna go to bed, wake up, or if I'm gonna stay awake, watch it, but either way, what? When are you ready? Sometime between now and like 11 o'clock probably. I'm doing. I'm going to run tonight. I'm going to go on a nice six miler, try to see how I feel about these new A6 shoes. So, so all the running. And then tomorrow, 8 a.m. is the Halloween 5K in Baldwin Park with Track Shack. So that'll be fun. There's a bunch of costume contests and stuff like that. Um, I think we said Sarah's not coming with, right? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah's not coming with. She'll be sleeping. Um, and then we're going to have a restful day. Eve's like so nosy about everything. She's trying to get into Sarah's prenatal vitamin pills. Per use for Peter Burkhart's segment, long story short, Sarah and I are going to watch like five or six little quick like preview videos of explaining what Elliot's history is, what they've been doing to prepare for this challenge. It's all sponsored by Ineos. The, I think they're a chemical company. I don't know why they're sponsoring it. but chemical? Yeah. I looked it up with my friend Willie earlier and we're like, I thought it was like a... GPS satellite company, but no, it's like a chemical company. I don't know. Let me know if you know what Enios is. I N E O S. Ice cream, YouTube time. It's the weekend. If you're looking for a minimalist vlogger, check out Leafy. Sarah will put the information down below. Sarah actually went to college with Leafy. And guess what? She made us our first baby blanket. She didn't make us our very first baby blanket, but she's got a kick butt, like, minimalistic YouTube channel. She went to high school with my cousin. Till next time. Yeah, so check her out. But, time for me to go on a run. I got my. Look at our doggy. She needs love. Alright, but here are my new A6 Keanu 26s. Got the gel, got some, some sturdiness back here to keep my Achilles safe and to fix my overpronation that I have when I run. So I'm about to go put, I think, six miles on it, but these look so good. Got dark. There's a different netting on the, the top of the, the toe box that look, looks a little bit better than the, the last ones, but ooh, time to go. So you guys know how I'm on, like, fake bed rest. Like, I'm not really on bed rest, but we're going to, I'm going to just, like, take it as easy as possible um, while this whole situation gets fixed up. Um... I want to know who you guys watch on YouTube that, I don't want to say that aren't Disney vloggers, maybe that are just like, even if they go to Disney, but they like capture more of their life. So basically, I'm going to be spending a lot of time resting and I've had a couple of shows already that I've started and knowing that I've started shows and haven't finished them. Like, I don't want to start another new show right now. Like, I'm open to, like, shorter, like, Netflix, Hulu, docu-series, like, things like that. Um, but I'm just, like, not, I'm, like, I have, like, in the back of my head all these Netflix shows that I've started that I haven't finished. So I don't really want to start a new show. I could continue those shows, of course, but just, like, I'm not in bed for, like, long periods of time because, like, I'm still working I'm still trying to like carry on my like home life as usual obviously with like little changes here and there but I'm not like laying down all day I don't know if this makes sense basically like I'm looking for more like short form entertainment to watch while I'm relaxing I am reading um I am meditating, which has been really good for me since this last cycle of IVF. Um, but I'm just curious to see, like, who else you guys watch on YouTube. I really like Matt Diavelli. Um, 
there's a couple of I'm I'm really really into the whole Shane Dawson Jeffrey Star um, pro- program series series that's going on right now. Um, but again, just like short form YouTube that's thoughtful, um, not necessarily theme park related, but just things that you guys enjoy or that's like well done. I followed a couple of other YouTubers that have gone through IVF, so those have been cool. Um, but again, any suggestions, like short form entertainment that you have, I would really appreciate because I am, I don't know how long I will be on this resting. I feel better today than I did yesterday, but um, it kind of hits me in waves. So any suggestions would be helpful. 12 seconds later. I knew it. I knew she'd fall asleep. Just let us know if you've started watching this YouTube channel. It is called Counting Countries, I think. Sarah watches it more than I have, but I always enjoy it. It's this couple traveling the world, going to every country. And I think they fit like anywhere between two and four countries in one vlog. But they're just a couple young couple having fun around the world. She's tired too, still. A pretty solid run, first time in those shoes. Shoes felt great. You can definitely tell that they're the same kind of shoe. Um, the foam is so fresh on those. They felt so good. I ran six miles, and I think it was a an 8.48. Hold on, that can't be right. All right, yes, I ran 6.03 miles at an 8.48 pace. Third fastest 5K according to when I started using Strava. Um, third fastest 5K at 27.02. It should be interesting to see how the weather is and how I'm feeling and how I want to push it or not tomorrow morning. But it also is interesting because it's 1120 right now. I have to put away the rest of like whatever's left from dinner. I'm going to do the dishes. I have to foam roll, which I know I need to be better at, but I also have been on like a really off week with the news from the doctor and the traveling, Sarah's traveling, and um, it being a slow week because of like a mini taper for the marathon I'm, marathon I'm going to run on Sunday. Um, but this... Elliot is doing is attempting the to, to break the two hour marathon at I think the live stream starts at 1 a.m. our time. I wanna watch that. But I also need to get up early because I have to be at Baldwin Park at 8 a.m. I, I mean ideally I'd want to get there at like seven to kinda like walk around, check out the grounds, check out what kind of area. I don't even I haven't even looked in the course map yet to see, but um, I know I'll be up at least a little bit longer. I gotta do these dishes before I can good and be good and relaxed. So I'll get it done. Alright, fast forward. It is about midnight, did the dishes, took out the garbage, uh, cleaned up the, just tidied up around, brought Eve out for a little walk. She's like amped, but also exhausted at the same time. She keeps bringing me her bone. I must hold it while she chews it. Sarah is still zonked. Now that it's midnight, I think coverage starts at one o'clock. So what I think I'm going to do is I don't know if I should just like go straight to bed right now and set an alarm for one. But I'm dedicated because this man's about to break a human record. No human before has ever done such a thing. She loves the leg rubs. She's so content right now. I wish someone would do this to me, like rub my belly as I lull to sleep. She's such, she owns us. We, we, all right, did my rolls. Eve does not like the foam roller yet, so I just stop and go to my my muscle roller. But that works out. I want to show you another runner. This is Rez Runs. Our friend Zier Hunts taught me about him. He's local Orlando. Big runner, big Disney runner. Right now he's recovering from injury, but any kind of runner, check out Rez Runs. We'll put his information down below. Right, I'm doing the message because I feel like I'm going to end up falling asleep before the two-hour challenge starts, which is probably a smart thing, but hopefully I wake up for at least parts of it. Today's the 11th is by our man, Thomas Edison. If we did all the things we were capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Oh, so very true. I think everybody should read that every single day and strive for doing everything they're capable of doing. And with that... The weekend has begun, new shoes were bought, running has happened, running YouTube historical moments are happening over in Austria. Bib has been picked up for tomorrow's 5k and there's a first 
ease into the running season. Official racing running season begins tomorrow, 8 a.m. From Sarah and myself, because she's been out for a few hours now. She does like the occasional wake up, like says a couple sentences, and then it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.